trapezoids, median or mid-segment theorem of trapezoid, and isosceles trapezoid. Dennis at the corner. Alamin muna natin ang mga characteristics ng isang trapezoid. Ang trapezoid ay may isang pares ng parallel sides. Dito sa trapezoid FBCG, ang side FB ay parallel with side GC. Ang sides na magkaparallel sa trapezoid na ito ay tinatawag na bases. So ang side FB ay base at ganun din ang side GC. Ang mga sides naman na hindi parallel ay tinatawag na legs. So ang line segment FG and line segment BC ay mga legs ng trapezoid FBCG. Sa trapezoid, mayroon din tayong tinatawag na base angles. Ang angle F at angle B ay mga base angles with respect to line segment FB. At ang angle C and G ay mga base angles with respect to line segment GC. Let's proceed with the mid-segment theorem of a trapezoid. So according sa mid-segment or median theorem ng isang trapezoid, ang median or mid-segment ng isang trapezoid ay parallel sa mga base ng ating trapezoid at ang length nito ay equal sa half ng sum ng dalawang bases. So dito sa trapezoid KESO or trapezoid keso, DB is our median or mid-segment. Ito ay nabuo sa pamamagitan ng mga midpoints na D and B. So, ang median DB ay parallel sa bases na KE at OS. So, line segment KE at si line segment OS ay parallel sa line segment DB, which is our median. And again, the measurement of DB is equal to half of the sum of the bases, or db is equal to one half times the sum of ke and os. So let's apply the mid-segment theorem or the median theorem of trapezoid in answering this given. Given trapezoid gold or gold, it has a median en. Okay, so this line segment is the mid-segment or the median. The given is, if GO is equal to 15 and DL is equal to 23, we're going to find the length of EN, which is the median. Kung i-apply natin ang median theorem sa problem na ito, para makuha natin ang measurement ng EN, line segment EN or median, kailangan muna nating i-add ang length ng GO, line segment GO, at ang length ng line segment DL. Pagkatapos nating i-add, i-divide natin ang sum by 2, tapos yun na yung magiging measurement ng line segment EN. So, substitute natin yung ating mga given dito sa ating equation. So, pinalitan natin yung GO ng 15 at yung DL ng 23. All over 2, kailangan nating i-divide ang sum by 2. Next is... I-add natin yung numerator, 15 plus 23, that is equal to 38. And then, i-divide natin yan by 2, makukuha natin ang measurement ng EN, which is 19. So, nasagutan na natin ang ating problem using the median or the mid-segment theorem. Let's proceed with the next problem. Given trapezoid gold with median EN pa rin, ito ang ating kailangang hanapin. We're going to find x if GO is equal to 2x minus 5, DL is equal to 3x plus 10, and EN is equal to 15. So this time, mayroon tayong given na median. Mayroon din tayong given para sa mga bases. Ang hahanapin natin dito ay yung variable na x. So gamitin natin yung ating equation para sa median. So ang median, again, is equal to 1 half times the sum of the bases, yung GO at DL. So this is the same with GO plus DL all over 2. So yun ay yung ating gagamitin. Ipalit natin yung ating mga given sa ating equation. Ang EN mapapalitan ng 15 dahil ang EN is equal to 15 according to our given. Next, ang GO naman ay 2x minus 5. 
ang DL ay 3x plus 10. All over 2. So, ito na yung denominator natin. Para mas mabilis nating masolve ang ating given equation, so, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 2 para ma-cancel natin yung denominator. So, here, 2, i-multiply natin yan sa numerator, okay? Or i-divide na natin diretso by the denominator, which is 2. Magka-cancel na yung ating denominator because this will become 1. So, may iwan na yung 2x minus 5 plus 3x plus 10. Ito ay nanggaling dito sa given natin na GO at DL. Next, 15 times 2, that is equal to 30. So, ito na ang ating panibagong equation. Now, combine like terms dito sa right side, yung may mga variable, combine, at saka yung mga constant terms. So, we have 30, kopyahin muna natin, 2x plus 3x, this is equal to 5x, then negative 5 plus 10, that is equal to positive 5. Ang goal natin dito is ma-isolate yung mayroong variable. So, kailangan dito sa right side, iwan natin yung 5x, ma-eliminate dapat natin yung positive 5. And to do that, we have to use addition property of equality. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 5. So, ito na ang ating magiging equation. 30 minus 5, ito yung idinagdag natin na negative 5, is equal to 5x plus 5 minus 5. So, kaya tayo nag-add dito ng negative 5, both sides, ay para ma-eliminate natin ang positive 5 dito sa right side. So, ang magiging equation natin is 30 minus 5, that is 25. 5x, kopyahin lamang natin. And 5 minus 5, that is equal to 0. So, naiwan na dito sa right side yung 5x. Ang goal naman natin ngayon is maging x lamang yung nasa iisang side ng equation. So, to do that, kailangan natin mag-multiply both sides ng 1 over 5 or divide both sides by 5. So, 5x divided by 5, this will become 1. Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng 1x. So, x na lamang yon, And then, 25 divided by 5, that is equal to 5. Or, using the symmetric property of equality, 5 is equal to x, ay pareho din ng x is equal to 5. So, ang value ng x na nakuha natin is 5. And that is the answer dito sa ating given problem. Alamin naman natin ang mga characteristics ng isang isosceles trapezoid. Ang isosceles trapezoid ay mayroon pa rin isang pair ng parallel sides which are the bases. So in trapezoid LIKE, ang line segment LI ay parallel sa line segment EK. Yun nga lang, dito sa isosceles trapezoid, may isang pares din ng congruent sides. At yun ay ang mga legs. So ang line segment LE, ay congruent sa line segment IK. Sa mga angles naman, ang isosceles trapezoid ay mayroong base angles na congruent. So, ang base angle na L ay congruent sa base angle I. Ang base angle E ay congruent sa base angle K. In an isosceles trapezoid, Ang base angles ay congruent gaya ng nabanggit kanina. At ang diagonals naman ay congruent at ang opposite angles ay supplementary. Gamitin natin ang mga nabanggit kanina na characteristics ng isosceles trapezoid para naman masolve natin ang ating given problems. So in quadrilateral like or LIKE, this is an isosceles trapezoid, if the angle E is 60 degrees, ano ang measurements ng mga natitirang angles? We have angle K, angle I, and angle L. So we know that sa isang isosceles trapezoid, mayroon itong congruent base angles. So kung mayroon tayong given para sa angle E, which is a base angle, maaari nating makuha ang isa pang base angle with respect to line segment EK, which is angle K. So, kung si angle E ay 60 degrees, congruent yan dito sa angle K. So, ang measurement ni angle E is equal to the measurement of angle K. Therefore, kung si angle E, ang measurement nito ay 60, that is equal to the measurement of angle K. So, angle K is equal to 60 degrees also. 
Again, that is because pareho silang base angles with respect to line segment EK or base EK. Kaya equal sila ng measurement. So, mayroon na tayong measurement ng angle E at saka ng angle K. Papaano naman natin kukunin ang measurement ng angle I at saka ng angle L? So, para makuha natin halimbawa si angle I, kailangan gamitin natin yung property na opposite angles are supplementary. So, to get the measurement of angle I, gagamitin natin ang equation na ito. The measurement of angle E plus the measurement of angle I is equal to 180. That is because they are supplementary. Kapag pinag-add silang dalawa, ang sum ay 180. Okay? So again, opposite angles in isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So kung meron na tayong measurement ng angle E, which is 60, tapos plus the measurement of angle I, equals 180, maaari na nating makuha ang measurement ni angle I. Simply, we subtract 60 from 180. Or kung gagamitan natin ng addition property of equality, ma-eliminate natin dito si 60 by adding negative 60 to both sides of the equation. So, may iwan dito si measurement of angle I is equal to 180 minus 60 that is equal to 120. So, the measurement of angle I is 120 degrees. So, kung i-add natin to check, 120 plus 60, that is equal to 180. Now, to find angle L, dahil mayroon na tayong measurement ni angle I, alam natin na si angle I at si angle L are base angles with respect to line segment LI or base LI. So, congruent sila, equal ang kanilang measurement. Kung ang measurement ni angle I ay 120, therefore, ang measurement ni angle L is 120 also. Because they are base angles with respect to line segment LI and they are congruent. So, kompleto na ang ating mga angles. And, take note na kapag pinag-add dapat natin ang mga angles na ito, sa loob ng isosceles trapezoid, it must be equal to 360 degrees. Next, let's use quadrilateral milk or MELC para sa ating susunod na problem. So again, ang quadrilateral milk is an isosceles trapezoid. So dito, if the measurement of angle E is equal to 5x and the measurement of angle C is 4x minus 9, what will be the value of x? So, to solve this, tignan muna natin kung nasaan si angle E. So, we have angle E at saka si angle C. Again, they are opposite angles. And we know na sa isang isosceles trapezoid, opposite angles are supplementary. So, kapag pinag-add natin yung dalawang angles, equal dapat yon sa 180 degrees. So, the measurement of angle E plus the measurement of angle C is equal to 180. Substitute lamang natin ang mga given dito sa ating equation. So, we have angle E, measurement of angle E, 5x. Palitan natin yan ng 5x. And then, a measurement of angle C is 4x minus 9 is equal to 180. So, ipag-a-add natin ito. Maaari na natin gawing ganito ang ating equation. 5x plus 4x minus 9 is equal to 180. Gagamitin na natin ito para ma-solve natin yung x. So again, to solve for x, let's use this equation. 5x plus 4x minus 9 is equal to 180. Combine like terms dito sa ating left side. 5x plus 4x, that is equal to 9x. Minus 9 is equal to 180. Now, isolate natin yung mayroong variable. Kailangan mag-add tayo both sides ng positive 9. Kasi ang goal natin is to eliminate negative 9. So, kapag nag-add tayo ng positive 9 both sides, ito na ang kanyang magiging equation. 9x minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 180 plus 9. So, negative 9 plus 9, 0 na ito, may iiwan si 9x dito sa left side. And then, 180 plus 9, that is equal to 189. Ngayon, to find x, since we have here 9x, let's multiply both sides by 1 over 9. Or simply divide both sides by 
9x divided by 9, this will become 1, yung numerical coefficient ng x. So, magiging x na lamang yan. And then, 189 divided by 9, that is equal to 21. Therefore, the value of x sa ating given problem is 21. Next problem. Dito naman sa problem na ito, Iko-consider natin ang diagonals ng isang trapezoid. So, quadrilateral-like is an isosceles trapezoid. Ibig sabihin, si LK or yung line segment LK, which is the diagonal, that is congruent dito sa ating isa pang diagonal, which is line segment IE or line segment EI. Kung ang given natin dito is LK is equal to 4X minus 5 and IE is equal to 2X plus 11, hahanapin natin yung X, gagamitin natin itong property na ito ng isosceles trapezoid. Diagonals are congruent. So LK, yung measurement niya, is equal to IE. Now, ipalit natin ang mga given na ito dito sa ating equation. Yung LK, papalitan natin ng 4X minus 5. At yung IE, papalitan natin ng 2X plus 11. So, ito na yung ating gagamitin na equation to find X. So, again, let's use the equation 4X minus 5 is equal to 2X plus 11. Dito muna tayo sa left side. Kailangan isolate natin yung variable para makuha natin yung value ng X. So, 4x minus 5, dito sa left side, kailangan eliminate natin si negative 5. To do that, let's use addition property of equality. Since we have here negative 5, let's add both sides by positive 5. So, we have 4x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 11 plus 5 na rin dito sa kabilang side. So, negative 5 plus 5, this is 0. May iiwan si 4x. And then, sa kabilang side, 2x, kopyahin natin, and then 11 plus 5, that is equal to 16. Now, sa right side naman, kailangan constant term lang yun nandito. Kailangan eliminate natin yung mayroong variable na x. Therefore, para magawa yun, again, let's use addition property of equality. Since we have there 2x, mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 2x. So, we have here 4x minus 2x. And then, sa kabilang side, 2x plus 16 minus 2x. Simplify natin ang equation. 4x minus 2x, that is 2x. And then, sa kabilang side, 2x minus 2x, that is 0, may iwan yung 16. Next, para naman maging x na lamang itong nasa left side, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 1 half or simply divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2, that is x. And then, 16 divided by 2, that is equal to 8. So, x is equal to 8. To check kung talagang tama yung ating naging value ng x, pwede naman nating i-check yan gamit ang substitution. Sa given, LK is equal to 4x minus 5. It should be equal to IE, dito sa 2x plus 11. Kasi nga, diagonals are congruent. So, LK is equal to 27. Okay, kung ipapalit natin yung 8 dito sa x, so makukuha natin yung 27. Dito naman sa IE, kung papalitan din natin yung x ng 8, so we have 16 plus 11, 27 pa rin ang magiging sukat. So, equal ang naging measurement ng ating mga diagonals, which is correct. Kasi yun yung property or characteristic ng isang isosceles trapezoid. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button, mag-subscribe, at i-hit ang bell button para sa marami pang videos.